All right, what is up, everybody? Joshua Smith here. First off, thank you so much for watching this demo here on Perfect Storm. Uh, so real quick, below this video, you're going to see a timeline um, that you can access where I'm going to go through here in this video and show you um, all the main features and functionality that we have inside Perfect Storm and, and is, a, is a CRM system, website lead generation system. Um, but if you want to fast forward to something, you know, or, or if you forget uh, a feature and you want to fast forward, below is going to be a timeline that allows you to do that so you don't have to watch this whole entire in-depth uh, demo video. Also, any specific questions that you have that, um, you know, you want us to elaborate on more that, um, you know, or maybe isn't covered in this demo, I'm going to do my best to answer all your questions that you might have in this demo. But any other questions that you have, uh, there's going to be a, a questions box below where you can submit questions or anytime you can reach out to sales at perfectstormnow.com. Again, that's sales at perfectstormnow.com. And I want you to understand something that I feel is very important. Um, we don't believe in high pressure sales, right? That is not our style at all. We are not here to, to try to sell you on anything. We're just here to answer your questions. Um, and if you think we're a fit for you, if we're the best system for you to utilize, great. If not, that's okay too. So you never have to worry about that. We're never going to high pressure you. We're not going to try to sell you on anything. We're just here to answer your questions. And again, if we're a fit, awesome. If not, that's okay too. So feel free to answer, ask as many questions as you need. And, and this is a big decision, right? You want to make sure that you have the best system that you can be utilizing to go out there and lead generate inside your business, as well as your back end CRM. It's one of the most important tools um, that you're going to be using inside your real estate business to grow and expand. So you want to make that right decision for yourself and for your business. So um, as many questions as you need to ask, right, we're, we're here to uh, uh, help you make that decision, whatever that decision is. If you want to go with another platform, like I said, there's no pressure. That's okay as well. All right. So what I want to start here is with the front end of the website. Um, and just to give you an idea of what you get and what you can do with the website. So a question we get a lot is, well, what does my site look like when it's, when it's delivered to me? And what you see here is essentially that. Now, there's so many things that are customizable. We make this very simplistic to do. So I'm going to give you a lot of different, uh, show you a lot of different options and, and give you an idea of how to do this stuff. Um, but essentially, this is what you're going to get when your site is delivered to you, right? So again, it's going to be basic. Um, but basic doesn't mean effective, right? I mean, at the end of the day, you know, I'm not sending anybody to the homepage of my website. Um, I'm going out there and sending them the very specific landing pages to go out there and lead generate. And of course, we have tremendous amounts of training teaching you how to go out there and be amazing lead generators inside your business. You know, at the end of the day, what you need a system to do as far as your website and your CRM, they truly exist for two reasons. Right. Number one, to go out there and generate leads, online leads the most effective manner you possibly can. And number two, to work your database. Once you're generating these leads, how do you convert those leads into clients, manage the client process, manage the past client process, get repeat referral business? I mean, that's that's essentially all we want to go out there and do with a website and a CRM. And that's what we focus on. That's what we specialize in. That's what we put everything into to make sure that this is a lead generation and a lead conversion beast, an absolute lead gen, lead conversion machine. All right. So here's what you're going to get um, when uh, we deliver this to you. And again, there's so many possibilities that you can do and expand with this. Um, so you've got just a search, uh, a search box right here. Um, we have a built-in IDX system. So as uh, potential buyer leads or, or even sellers, I mean, where do sellers start? They start by seeing what's available out there to go purchase um, before they usually think about listing their property, right? They want to make sure that, that that next move is possible for them. So they can come on here. They can do a really basic search. We have all your popular areas. And I'm going to show you there's lots of options you can do with home cards, um, different options that you can have here. Um, but this is essentially is what's delivered to you. And then you can customize it and we'll walk you through and help you do that in any way we possibly can. Um, so you can have your home page here. Um, you have a search page here, which is, can be basic or advanced. Now, this is where buyers are going to come and, and search for properties on your site. So, you know, again, when you come to the basic, this is just showing all the different properties in your area. Um, if they come in here to advance, 
this allows them to get very specific with, you know, if they want to just search homes with pools or certain price points or foreclosures or only homes with three car garages. Um, and uh, you have the ability also to, um, you know, minimize or add more of these features here that you want to allow them to go out there and, and search with. Um, so we've got the built in IDX. Um, one thing that's critical, and I'll, I'll elaborate on this more as we go into the demo, is force registration, right? So lead generation or, or any activity that we do exists to go out there and generate a lead. So as I get people on my website, I want to convert them into leads, right? So let's just say I'm running a Facebook ad or whatever that may be that exists to go out there and generate a lead. So let's just say, and we've split tested so many things here with different colors, and we found that this, this white, and this, this light blue, um, not having a lot of agent branding on here just converts at the highest possible level. Um, so let's just say somebody's like, oh, hey, this house looks amazing. Let me go check out this property. We have forced registration built in pop ups. So this comes automatic. Now you have the ability to adjust it. You know, I, I prefer mine to be at one, like the first property they click on, the second they click, bam, right? It's like, hey, here's everything that you you want you, you you can see all the photo properties the descriptions monthly mortgage payment amount that's a pretty steep uh, uh, 10 grand a month mortgage payment um, but all this is done automatically um, they just it's like hey here's everything you want now you just got to give me what I want and become a lead which they automatically then get put in your CRM and we have autoresponders and drips and all that stuff they're added to which I'll show you um, they can log in with Facebook which is really important because it massively increases um, the amount of leads that we get our conversion ratio because it makes it one click syncs with it very simplistic um, and you have the ability to edit this stuff too you can add if you want to get their names phone numbers emails all of that stuff um, you have the ability to go out there and add that or um, you know you, you can if you want to give somebody 50 clicks you can adjust all of that it's all, all um, adjusted on your end I recommend one property one click um, for to, to maximize lead generation but again it's customizable so those are your search options here. We've got the basic and advanced. Now your sell option, this is for a CMA, right? So uh, this is a, a multiple step process. They're gonna enter their address in first. You know, so let me just enter an address, 14905 West Dove Star. This is um, one of my rental properties right down the street here. So I'll just type this one in. Okay, so then I'm gonna click next. And then it's going to confirm some information. So this is actually two bed, two bath, 1388 square feet, I believe something like that. Um, then we do contact information. And the reason that we do it in this form or this format um, is because sometimes you have people that they just want a home valuation. They just want to see what their home valuation is worth. So we want to get all this information first. So if they leave and they bounce off here, you will get given a, really it's a partial lead, right? So we, we still were able to capture their address. So you can reverse look them up or run a CMA and drop it off at their doorstep, um, whatever that may be. But let's just say Joshua Smith, my cell number, my email. And then this is how we generate leads for that. Um, so this already exists in the database. So it's not allowing me to, to repop it in there because um, I've already got myself in there as a dummy lead. Um, but now one thing that differentiates us and one decision that we made with this cell site here is we do not do automated values. And the reason being is automated values, I have just found uh, through through years and years and years of doing this personally as a real estate agent and of course with our clients here on Perfect Storm, is it really shoots you in the foot because there's no way to control the automated values. And that's one thing that differentiates us with our site. And this is what we really stress to, to our, our leads out there and our potential clients of this is an in-depth customized uh, in-depth home valuation report that we actually go out there and run because otherwise it's going to be just like a, a Zillow's estimate. They're all over the place. They're inaccurate. It's not going to serve you. It's not going to serve them, um, but we also want to give them bonuses, right? So it's going to say up here, want to know your home value, fill this form out and get a 100% free, no pressure, no hassle home valuation and a free guide on how to sell your home fast. And we provide the guide. It's a, it's a staging guide that I've created over the years of how to get top dollar for your property. So it gives them that as well. Um, so that is the sales page um, to go out there and generate leads. So that's how we generate leads on the buy page and the sell page. Um, and then you've got a contact us button here. Now, this again is, is about as basic. Like I said, this is when we deliver your site. This is how it starts. Um, then you have infinite amount of options 
uh, that you can go out there and do. For example, let me just show you uh, my uh, uh, other site that I utilize inside my real estate business, right? So you can see here, I still got the homepage, I got the basic search, advanced search, the sales page, you know, a get in touch contact form. You know, you have the ability to edit these if you wanted to say something different or the verbiage. You can add infinite uh, amounts of menu buttons, um, but we've got uh, a blog, we've got an about, so you can come on here and see different blog features, and, and this is our video market update. So this is Armando, he's head of my uh, customer experience department, aka what we call here in the real estate business is an inside sales agent. Um, but uh, we just embed our video uh, market updates that are in here, which uh, uh, you know I'll show you about and. and um, in later videos, but this massively increases SEO on your website, right? So um, we create these videos, upload them into YouTube, and then embed them in here, all things that we train you and teach you on. Um, but you can add a blog, you can add testimonials, video testimonials, community pages, um, you can add home cards, right? So um, things that are popular in your area. So like in, in my area, which is Phoenix, Arizona, Maricopa County, pool homes are extremely popular. So search all homes with swimming pools, click here. So they come on here, here's every single home that's uh, for sale in Maricopa County with a swimming pool. So they can go out there and search all of those based on the home cards. Um, foreclosures just always seem to be a hot ticket for a lot of people. So they can search all foreclosures, again, to see how much your property is worth. And let me just show you a few other examples of other sites, right? So here is one of our, um, um, obviously, Perfect Storm clients that does a really good job with all his different communities, community pages, um, you know, if you come up into here and click all his community pages, he's got all these different communities and he's, he's created these and we allow you the custom ability to go out there and create these, but these are just specific pages about each community. So if somebody's interested in this community, it's just a little bit of a, an about uh, that community page. Um, so you can go out there and just search all these different communities. And again, you can embed video on all of this stuff. Um, you can uh, adjust what's in here. Like he's got find your dream home. Of course, he's got a lot of personal branding on here. You can see his blog. He also sells not just uh, um, in Colorado where he's at, but he also sells down in Costa Rica. So he's got an explore Costa Rica um, um, page there. We can learn more about that. And of course, his blog, um, which is here where you can search all these individual blogs. So listing agent versus selling agent, what's the difference? And here is his actual blog that comes into there. Looks like he's got his market update popping at the bottom. You can sync all your social media links, all of that stuff. And again, all this stuff is very easy to do. Our support department is amazing at helping you with this stuff, getting this stuff set up. Plus, we have an insane amount of training videos, training section, which I'll show you. Um, now, this is another one of our clients just to show you what she's got going on and done here. You know, she's added uh, a rentals option, financing option. You can add your vendor partners on here. You can um, have it where, um, you know, they could go get pre-qualified on your preferred lenders page, all of that stuff right here. And now with her home cards, she has properties under 100 grand, 100 to 100, 250, 250 to 500. Again, there's infinite things that you can do here with that. You can also, if we go to um, this website here, whoops, sorry, I was on the wrong page there. Um, so this website right here, um, you can have it synced in where it's showing your listings. If you have a lot of listing inventory, your feature listings, you can, you know, have uh, have them where they're scrolling through. Um, again, lots of different options. Um, you know, so again, you can customize what you want your contact to look like, what those photos look like. If you come here to her Meet Us page, you know, she's got her different team here. So if you want to meet Jeanette, there's her with her dog, which she's a, a little about you page, rave reviews, obviously client testimonials. And again, with these testimonials, you can um, add video, embed video, um, and have all of that. And again, little features like this. Um, you know, the, the, the video blogs, the blog features, the community pages, you know, these are just things that are great, great, great for SEO. And again, you can add partner pages, you can add all your vendor partners. So if you want to, you know, talk about your, your home inspector, your lender, um, your title company, whatever that may be, again, you, you have so many options with these drop down custom menu bars and, and we make it again, very, very easy for you to go out there and set up. Now, I don't have an example of this here, but you can also, um, um, 
go out there and do third-party plugins. Like if you want a 24-7 chat widget, you know, where they can pop up and chat something like a live chat, you can um, add all of that. If you have guides that you want them to download, you know, things, things like that. Very simplistic to go out there and do. And I'll show you some back-end examples of how quickly and easy this is to go out there and do. Um, but one thing that's really important to point out is that you can create infinite amounts of landing pages off of your website because again the website exists like you can see my website here it's nothing pretty it's nothing fancy right uh, um, but why do I have a website to go out there and generate insane amounts of leads right I'm generating thousands of Facebook leads every single month on my website and it doesn't have to be just Facebook that's the the world I play in that's you know in my opinion the juggernaut out there that exists at this time but you can do Google pay-per-click ads LinkedIn ads um, other types of ads that exist out there um, also the advanced searches I said earlier when you come into here this is customizable um, so if you want less options or more options if you don't want people to be able to see rentals you know or if you want um, more or less fields in here again this is very customizable um, for you to go out there and do um, and be able to uh, uh, add all of that fun stuff. Um, let's just see here. I want to make sure that I'm not missing anything. Um, again, I just want to stress with the, the importance of these forced registration pop-ups. Um, this is how we go out there and generate leads. And I see a lot of real estate agents, a lot of even Perfect Storm clients that we have, you know, they don't feel right about somebody clicking on and then bam, you know, having this. So they might give them the ability to click on two or three properties and have multiple clicks. Again, that functionality is, is however you want to set it up. For me, Again, I care about lead generation, right? It's this business is I need to generate leads. I need to convert those leads into appointments. I got to conduct those appointments, uh, uh, convert those into clients, you know, to get that client, get them under contract, and then it's repeat, right? So for me, I might be a little more aggressive than most, um, but this allows, and guys, we've spent so much time on just making sure that we have the highest conversion ratios that exist out there in the industry, which will give you a cheaper cost per lead and maximize your overall lead generation. So um, that's what we have there. Very important. Um, one other thing that you can do here too with our site that differentiates us from a lot of different websites out there is build what's called supplemental pages, right? So if I come in here, um, let's just say the, these are all what's pulled in from the MLS. So again, we have our own built-in IDX. Um, so this is uh, these are automatically being updated and auto-populated through what's on your MLS system. Most MLSs are updated every hour. Um, some are updated a little bit sooner than that, more frequently, but on average, Average, most of our MLS systems are updated every hour. So it's always accurate, up-to-date content. It's going out every single hour, resyncing with the MLS to ensure that it's accurate data. Well, what if you have a coming soon listing or a pocket listing or an off-market deal? Um, you can go create what's called a supplemental listing where you can build your own out, even though it's not on the MLS yet, um, and go out there and lead generate. So you'll have a, a customized uh, landing page like this that gives all the description, gives all the photos, you know, all of this stuff um, and be able to go out there and lead capture. You can see this site here. It's, it's a little bit different compared to, um, you know, this, uh, uh, the other site that I had showed you um, this site here for that that pop-up box because we give you the ability to go out there i've got two personal sites for my team um and show we give uh, uh you know the ability to customize this right so um all right so enough with that let's jump into the back end and let me show you um again how to go out there and do this stuff and what this looks like from the back end example so real quick when it comes to all those things that i just showed you as far as customizing your website so when you log into your crm this is what you're going to see and i'll go through all of this with you with the dashboards what all this stuff means um but how easy this stuff is right so you just come down here to your website Here's where you can turn on your blog, your partner pages, your community pages, and here's where you build out your supplemental properties, right? So you just click on here and you just literally add it, you know, right? Enter all the information, add the photos, and bam, it's done. Um, but when it comes to your overall website, um, we go into your page settings. Now here we've got different themes that you can you can go out there and choose to, to do, and, and we show you what these different themes are. Um, as an example, mine is theme two. And then this site here, Jeanette's is theme theme one. And we walk you through a course in the training and show you what these themes are and you know what, what you can do. You can pick your main website background colors. Um, you can adjust any of the homepage photos that you want to adjust. Um, but like these home cards, right? If you want to download a guide or anything that you want to do, literally you just uh, add a new card 
So if I were to go into here, you add the add new card, so to have you uh, upload the photo, and then just slap the URL on here, and then bam, hit save, it's done, right? So it's that simple to add things like those home cards I talked to you about. And again, we can turn off your, your testimonial features, video, text testimonials, um, those popular areas that you saw on the website, popular cities, you, you, you have some customization there that you can do with that. Of course, any descriptions, um, but we just, again, we want to make this where it's, it's plug and play, easy as possible. Um, so if I want to add my logo, my broker's logo, so like when you look on my website here, I've got my broker logo up here, which is mandated by the, the Department of Real Estate. So I have my broker's logo. Here's my logo here. Uh, we can edit these. And again, you know, when you, when you come in here and hover over these, um, like any, anything that you see here that has a little question mark, you can hover over this and I'll tell you, hey, um, for the best um, image quality, you know, here's what we recommend. And of course, our support department can, can get you dialed in with, with all of that. Um, all your general information, your social media leaks, um, links, um, compliance, like uh, we have to have the equal housing, at least in my area, the equal housing logo, you know, down here, um, that's on here. All of that's just done right here. And again, it's so simple. Just point, click, add the image, um, and it's done. And again, one thing I just want to stress is our support department is here to walk you through and help you out with all of this stuff. Um, if you come down here, because this is really important to point out, our help and training section is uh, pretty elaborate. So when you come in here, everything from identifying your drips to your website settings to your, your CRM, um, lead generation, all of these are, are right inside here. So let's just go into your CRM, for example. We have so much preloaded content and videos that walk you through and training that walks you through each of these. They're like, man, how do I how do I generate my custom signature? Right? Well, this shows you exactly how to go out there and do that. Uh, maybe you're you're like, hey, I want to go out there and start doing video email. How do I embed the video into my email, send video email, bam, you just come right here. Here's a 14 minute video in depth showing you step by step how to go out there and create that video email. Also inside here, um, you can submit a support ticket anytime or average support ticket response time is like less than 20 minutes. One thing that we are hardcore with is making sure that our support is um, um, always dialed in, always up to date, and uh, do everything we can to go above and beyond um, with the support. In addition to that, um, we have a private Facebook group. Um, so just about uh, just under a thousand of our Perfect Storm users. As a Perfect Storm client, you get access to this group here. Um, and this is just a place where we're always masterminding, you know, right? We're always masterminding. We're always elaborating what's working, what's not working, questions that you might have, you know, whatever. So there's a lot of things that happen inside here and, and um, collaboration and, and training and, and whatever that's in here. And this is where we're also, you know, a lot of uh, a conversation of features to add, you know, right? We want to make sure that this is the best system possible possible for you. So a lot of stuff is taking place in here and a lot of additional training is happening inside there with that. So here in the website settings, there's so many different things that you can um, access, add, you know, if you want to adjust your lead capture, here's where you can set your registration differently. Um, um, your Facebook pixel for retargeting purposes, which we have a lot of training on with, with Facebook pixels to see what your best cost per lead is to, to all of that. Uh, we just make this extremely, extremely user friendly and easy to go out there and, and edit. And again, your blog. So if I want to add a blog, I would just come into here. Um, you know, we can view your blog posts, add a blog, and it's this simple, right? So I would title the blog, you know, test blog. My content, you know, A, B, C, D, whatever. Let's just say I want to embed a video in there. I would just uh, embed my video code from YouTube, bam, insert, save, and it's done. It's created. So, again, extremely simplistic um, with all of this stuff to go out there and set that up. All right, with that being said, now let me walk you through... As far as the CRM, let's walk you through what uh, each of these elements looks like, what you can do with this, how this works, all of that fun stuff. All right, so first off, your, your, when you first log in, this is where you're always going to wind up, which is your um, um, dashboard. Now, over here to the left, this is our menu, um, uh, menu bar here. So you can always click on these three lines here to make this bigger to see what each of these areas mean. And I'm going to go through these and show you what all of this is, but access all of your leads, access your drip plans, your task plans, 
we have a transaction management uh, a feature, um, your link builder, this is where you're building out your Facebook ads, your, your different links that uh, are, are, whether it's paid ads, free ads, whatever that you can go out there and do, plus our ad tracking component, uh, more templates, reporting if you want to see. Hey man, what, what are my email open rates? What are my mass email rates? And you know, what does this look like? Um, a script section where you can add infinite amounts of scripts. Of course, we already showed you your website settings, help and training center. Um, so again, if, over time, you'll get to know what all of these mean. And if you hover over them, it'll also tell you, but you can always click on this and it'll bring it up and uh, make it larger. So this is your dashboard. Let me just walk you through and show you what your dashboard uh, shows, what data you get, and then we'll go through all of this. Now, with my site here, you're not gonna see any tasks because I don't personally have any, I'm a real estate team leader um, that oversees my team. So I don't have any leads coming to me. My leads go to my ISAs, go to my agents. They don't come to me directly. So you're not going to see any tasks here. Um, but every day that you log in, it's going to show your tasks that are due today, your tasks that are due this week, um, your call tasks for today, and anything that's overdue. Up here at the top, right, this is just kind of walking you through and giving you an idea of what's taking place. So here's your leads per lead source that you've generated uh, so far today. Um, here's the different sources that they're visiting from. Um, um, you know, so we've got a couple from Google, a couple from my sold by Joshua site, mainly Facebook is our main one. These over here, if we can't provide it, so like if somebody's just uh, um, you know typing in my URL, for example, off of my business card, whatever, you know, that's gonna not provide it as just more organic search um, 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 from that. Um, but we try to do our best to get you those analytics. Um, then over here, this is your funnel. So it's always going to show you, you can see here. Um, and this is uh, um, uh, just to give you an idea here with this, this site I'm showing you through here. You can see what, how many leads you have in your system. Then you can come in here and click uh, and you'll see what this means with other here in a moment. So we have um, 135 other. So I got 10,557 leads in my site right now. Um, I've got 135 others. So other might be like my vendor partners or like my mother, you know, right? That's not a lead, but somebody that's in my sphere of influence. Um, we got 67 past clients that are in here. Um, uh, currently, we've got uh, 45 clients and 10,557 leads. So what this will show you over time is you always know, hey, how many leads equate to how many past clients to um, how many current clients? What does this look like? You know, this just kind of gives you a breakdown of that. Here is your calendar feature. So this is going to break down and you can edit this and, and you have um, some capability to see what this is going to show. So, you know, right, we've got, of course, birthdays on here, um, but you can literally have this show up all of your tasks. You can sync this with your Google calendar. It just depends on, on uh, what you want to add there with it. Um, you're going to have an area here showing traffic totals um, um, for, um, you know, that that 24 hour period. So I've had 1,395 uh, visits on my website over the last uh, 24 hours and 44 leads in the last 24 hours. This graph right here, now this is just the traffic analytics. Some of our clients love this. You know, for me, I personally don't pay a lot of attention to this, but some people like this, right? So the green shows your actual lead count and the blue up here shows um, your visits. So you can start to see like, hey, what days of the week are my highest traffic views, highest uh, uh, leads generated, you know, so you can start picking out what days you massively want to, obviously want to be lead generating on the days that uh, you get the best leads, you know, right? So this can, you know, show you what that looks like per day. Um, any new leads are down here um, in the system. Um, recent visits. So these are all these people that are that are recently visiting your sites, so like this person an hour ago, one hour ago, one hour ago, and it also shows, hey, when was the last day that we touched them, right? So each of these people here, you can see, okay, two days ago, two days ago, touched this person one hour ago, two days ago, um, you know, but this person is live on the site as of one hour ago, and my last reach out was two days ago, right? So I might want to reach out to Douglas, and I can call, email, log a call, email, or text right from here too. Um, I might just want to shoot, uh, you know, Douglas a text message, you know, right here saying, hey, notice that you're on the website, just want to make sure everything's going okay, you have any questions, you know, whatever. So that just kind of tracks your hot leads, if you will, that are in here. Um, up and coming trainings, we have a lot of trainings that, that we are always showing, features, all of that that's on here, lead generation trainings, um, open ticket tickets, and then you can also access the help center here, which you can always access right here. So that is your dashboard, that's what this is showing you. Um, and again, from here you can access your, your tasks, all of that stuff. And I'll show you how I personally do it inside my business. I don't actually access my tasks here. I'll show you how I do that. Then up here, um, this will show you, now I don't have any leads 
personally, so this is going to show blank, um, but these would be any um, text messages that I have going on inside my site. So we can text back and forth from our leads. This will show you all your unopened texts. It'll, it'll actually light up green if you have any unopened texts. Um, you can review those, reply right from here, and text right from your website. Same thing with emails. So this one's for emails. This one is for um, text messages. So you can access those right there from there as well. Um, up here, this is, let me walk you through um, what these features look like. So first off, we got your personal settings. So if I go into my personal settings, this is going to be where my name is, my cell number, you know, my login information. Um, we are going to provide you with a local cell number um, to text from, from the website, right? So this is going to be different from your cell. There's no way from us to text from your cell from the website. So this is different from that. But what I always tell my leads is, because sometimes I'm texting from my cell phone, sometimes I'm texting from the system, which, you know, my a lead might be like, well, what, where do I contact you from? Or like, who, who are these coming from? Why is it coming from two different numbers? I just always tell them, one's my personal cell, one's my work cell. They can text me back at both, reach me at both. Um, the cool thing about this system, you know, they text me to my local number. I can't text them back from my actual cell phone. You know, it's not a two-way text system and there's no way, there's no platform out there, a way of doing that. Um, but how we built this site is you can log into the internet on your cell phone and there's nothing you cannot do from your cell phone um, that you can do on the website. So I just plop in there and I'm texting them right from the site. That way it gets burned into the notes. I can see always what's taking place. Um, we have a, a, a third-party import um, form here. This is like, let's just say you're marketing with Zillow, Realtor.com, and you want those automatically to get imported here into Perfect Storm, your CRM. This is where those go to. Um, we have different integrations. Um, so if you are doing Facebook lead ads, which like I personally do a ton of Facebook lead ads, which allows the lead to register on Facebook. They don't have to click on the website and register on the website. They're giving their information and registering on Facebook, which we found is by far the best cost per lead. People just have a huge trust with Facebook. Auto imports all their data anyway that's already on Facebook. So um, we get much more accurate data. Um, we get much more people to register and a much cheaper cost per lead overall, which again, we have a lot of training on here in Perfect Storm where we show you how to go out there and do that. Because not only do we want to give you an effective system, we want to make sure you know exactly how to do it. We want to make sure that you are a lead generating beast, right? So we show you how to do all of this stuff as well. So um, you can uh, um, sync right here with your Facebook business page. Um, that way you can, when you do Facebook lead ads, because on Facebook, again, um, they're registering on Facebook. They're not coming to the website and registering, so they're registering on Facebook. So this automatically takes that data and imports it in your system, right? Because th there's no other sites that I'm aware of that do this without a third-party integration like a Zapier, which is going to cost you, you know, 25 plus dollars a month, depending on how many leads you're generating, um, or you manually have to input those. So this allows it automatically to dump in, get your autoresponders, get on your drips, lets you, notifies you to call them, all of that. Um, you can integrate with your Google Calendar. Um, so all your tasks are showing up, not just inside Perfect Storm on your, your calendar inside there, um, but are also um, um, integrating um, on your Google Calendar so you can see all of that. Um, we integrate with Mojo. So let's just say you are using Mojo, which is you know really the most popular power dialer in real estate uh, for real estate agents. Um, it's a you know triple line power dialer. allows you to do like $150 uh, uh, an hour. Um, you can connect with them, link with them. So you can use Mojo to follow up with your leads. And we also have Zapier uh, integration in here as well, if that's something that you want to do, but it's definitely not necessary um, to go out there and, and do that. Of course, here's all your signatures and you can have custom signatures, photos, banners, all of that stuff. Um, and uh, lots of different, I'll show you a lot of these different tagging systems and, and different things that you can do here. So those are the basics there. Um, we've got your auto response, uh, autoresponder settings. Um, so these are going to come with some default autoresponder settings. So an autoresponder is a lead gets automatically ports into your website. They're automatically going to get sent a text message and automatically going to get sent an email. As we know, and there's been so much research and data that speed to lead, right? If you fall up on the lead, you're five uh, within five minutes. You're you're you know thousands of times more likely to go out there and convert it, right? I mean the statistic is every minute after five minutes, you decrease your chance by 900 percent of communication with that lead. Well, when we're on listing appointments or or, or buyer appointments or showing products, properties or whatever. We can't always respond to these leads. So this is kind of like a safety net and you can set these up per lead source. 
So let's say you have, want to have a special one for Zillow where you say, hey, thanks so much for, for your inquiry on Zillow. I'm with a client right now, but I want to let you know that I'll respond back in, in a couple hours, right? Whatever, just to kind of calm them down so they know it's coming. You can add these per lead source. And when you go into these, you know, just to give you an idea of what these look like here, when you go into these and you can edit all these right here, um, we have them. We actually set them up with my personal autoresponders that I utilize in my business and, and where we have all this set up. Inside Perfect Storm, one of the bonuses is, is I have custom written all of the autoresponders, all of the drips, everything that I utilize in my business that's helped me sell over 5,000 homes. And you know, last year, my team sold 653 homes. Everything that's in my business is already uploaded in here and they're written in a way where everybody can use them. They're not specific to my real estate team. They're not specific to Arizona, um, but we have your email autoresponder. And again, you can edit this, change this, set this up per lead source. Um, but here's the email that goes out. Here's the text message that goes out. You also have the ability to do a, a text message video if you want a, a video recording going out instead of a text message and then you can turn these on and off and set parameters like let's just say you don't want a text message going out for a lead that comes in at 2 a.m because you don't want them getting that alert whatever you know you can set those up for that um, but we have one for buyers one for sellers um, and uh, your different lead sources there of course there's an area where you can import all of your contacts now, buyer lead rotation and seller lead rotation, right? So if you're an individual agent, this may not be something that's going to apply to you, but let's just say you have uh, multiple agents or like on my team, um, I've, here's my two inside sales agents. So all my leads actually go to my inside sales agents. They're following up with the leads and then uh, converting those leads to appointments. Then they go to my agents, which I'll show you um, kind of how we operate that and what we utilize for that. Um, but you can have these, um, you know, whether if, it, if it's just you, this is just going to be turned on. It's just going to you, right? Um, but if you have, let's say, a team and, and you want to have it where it's round robin, or maybe you have, let's just say you have a full-time buyer's agent, a part-time buyer's agent, and you want three leads going to your full-time buyer's agent um, to one lead that goes to your part-time, right? So this would ensure then, like if I were to type in a three here, Armando would get three leads, then that fourth lead would go to, then to James, and then it would repeat. So, and we can set this up per buyers and sellers, right? So like a lot of team leaders, want all the seller leader leads going to them um, and uh, all the buyer leads going to their agents, right? So um, all the lead rotation, you can set that up. If you have an agent out of town or whatever and you want to shut them off, it literally is as simple as just clicking this button, bam, it's done, you know, right? Um, and it's saved. So we have all the lead rotation right there, uh, capabilities for you there. Um, here's where you can access all of your, your users that are inside your, your, your business, right? So, um, for those of you that are an individual agent, right? The website is, uh, um, you know, $199 a month, $200 a month, let's say for the front end website and the CRM. As you're adding agents, it's only $50 each agent for them to have their own CRM. Um, but you can have other users like your admin. You can have uh, your admin on there and admin are free. You can add lender partners. Lender partners are free and I'll show you what that looks like. Here's where you can update your billing. All all of that stuff right here. So that's what is uh, over here in this section. Now let's spend a few minutes going through each of these uh, uh, buttons over here and how this stuff works and again how to work the CRM because this is you know these things are critical to have set up over here and again we, we um, when you build out your website um, we do everything we can to have this plug and play for you so this stuff will be as set up and complete for you as you possibly can and again it's tremendous amounts of training um, in my rule of thumb what I always tell people is if you can't figure it out in five minutes Submit a support ticket. The last thing I want you doing is banging your head against the wall for an hour trying to figure out something, right? We want to make sure that this is smooth, seamless for you, and we can help you rock and roll with this. All right, so of course, we've already went through your dashboard here, which is this link. This always takes you back to your dashboard homepage. Now let's go into your leads, right? So when you click this, this is going to be your leads, every single person that's in your system, right? So you saw here on my dashboard, you know, I've got over 10,000 people in here. So here's where I access everybody. So let me kind of go through what you can do from this screen, and then we'll go into a specific lead and show you what that lead looks like. So one feature that I absolutely love that I use and abuse here in the website um, is or in the CRM is the mass email feature, right? Like every single Monday, I do a mod Monday motivation message that I mass email out to my whole entire database. Now in the private Facebook group, I always share those with you. So you can always type in here and look for Monday motivation 
and there's going to be years worth of libraries, right? So I give these to you in a way where it's just copy paste and you can um, input those in there. We just get a, a massive, uh, have massive success with those. So for me on my team, every single person inside of our database gets a mass Monday motivation message, a mass monthly video market update, um, and a, a mass holiday uh, message, right? So um, I want to be able to go out there and send this to, let's say, the ten or 11,000 people I have in my system within minutes. So all I do right here is I just click mass email, type in here, you know, let's just say Monday motivation. It's not quite what it's titled, but again, I give you all of that. Type in my message, insert my image, bam. And then, uh, you know, I just come here, select an image, upload the image from my desktop, click preview email, it'll show you what it looks like just to make sure you're happy with it. Then you hit the send button and that would just send out those, you know, 10,000 messages in a matter of 30 seconds, right? And that's really critical. Um, something I want to point out is so many CRMs out there um, have a max on how many you can send out, right? Most CRMs, because they don't want to build out their own email platform and, and, and go through that headache, um, which we built everything on, on Perfect Storm from the ground up, from emails to, to all of this stuff. So this is all, um, so so we have we don't have limitations like a lot of systems do. Um, where if, I, if I'm maxed at 500 emails I can send out, um, to only 500 people in a day, which is all Google allows you to do, um, or Gmail, Let's just say I want to send out a Merry Christmas, you know, mass message to everybody in my system. Well, I can only send out 500 of those. So you, then you got to use a, a third party email provider like an Infusionsoft, which gets very costly. Um, so we make it where, um, you know, you, you there's no restrictions to how many um, emails that you can go out there and send um, inside your system. Now, in here, we have this filters tab. Right. And I love this filters tab. So inside this filters tab here, let's just say like this is I, I told you earlier how I don't access the task feature from the dashboard because here's what I do right now. This is going to show all the tasks that are due in my system. Um, but let me just clear these filters um, and then go back in here. So I come into my filters, right? So let's just say, um, and this is just showing me everything, right? So I can, I can filter this. Hey, maybe I just want to check on all my buyer clients, right? And I want to go through my buyer clients, make sure everything's up to date, message them something. I can deselect all these other people and then pull up just the people I want to pull up. Or let's just say, for example, um, I want to go out here and look at all my tasks, any tasks that are overdue and any tasks that are due today. And I can come here and view results. So this is how I work my tasks. Really, the system is set up. Once we have your system set up, we add your drips to it. And as you're lead generating, all you have to do is just make sure that your task queue is cleared out every single day. And you're going to have massive results with the system. And then this is really important as you're adding staff and people to your organization. We want to make sure that this stuff is simplistic and, and I hate to use the word dummy proof, but you know, right? And not everybody's tech savvy, right? So I want to make sure that this is somebody's never used a computer or very rarely used a computer before, isn't tech savvy. They can plug into this system and it's extremely user friendly. Um, so here, this is going to show all the tasks. So I've got 684 total tasks that are either overdue or due today um, inside this system, right? And inside this Pacific, Pacific uh, CRM, I have multiple agents and ISAs that are in here. So, um, um, but all I have to do here is I can come in here to Susan, click on Susan, right? See what my task is. So this is telling me, hey, you got a call to Susan that you got to make. Um, this tells me exactly what I need to say on the call. If she doesn't answer, here's the voicemail that you need to leave. Um, once it's done, I update the task and then I just go on to my next person. Okay. Then I got a task for Linda, get that done, then go on to the next. Then I got done with Lily. And then once I'm going through this, once I hit that last task, I can't go forward anymore, right? Like it's going to max out. So this is how I'm working my tasks. This is the most effective and efficient way to go out there and work the tasks is through this filter feature. Or let's just say, hey, maybe I'm doing a past client party, right? Um, for all my past clients. So every time I come in here, I always want to clear my filters because it's always going to keep you exactly where you were at before, whatever you filter last. So I'm always going to come in here, clear my filters. Then let's just sit there and say, hey, I just want to mass, mass email all my past clients, right? So these are all my past clients year to date in this system um, um, as of right now. Um, and um, so, um, or not year to date, I'm sorry, this will be all your past clients for you guys forever. Um, I just started using this system in this department uh, um, this year. Um, we got our second system. So, um, but anyway, here, I would just, here's all these past clients that I have in my system. So I would just select this right here, mass email. 
you know, and, and invite them, hey, you know, past client appreciation party, whatever. So I can just go out there and message just very specific people. You can see here that there's, it's not all those people, it's just these selected leads um, or selected people that I want to go out there and uh, uh, message to. So when I'm in here, how we've set up, and again, let me just come in here because we always want to clear our filters because it always defaults back to where we were. Um, now you can see here, let me just kind of walk you through what this lead screen is showing. And again, you can customize these columns to show how you want to show. Um, but this is how, um, you know, set default and how I have mine set up. So I've got the leads name and then how we have perfect storm set up is we have types and categories, right? Because we want to keep everything as simplistic as possible while still being effective as possible. So we can go out there and work this very efficiently. Um, so we have everybody. So with our types, everybody's either a buyer or a seller, so somebody looking to buy, somebody looking to sell, a buyer and seller, or another. So other would be like, hey man, I just met this person at a party, um, they're not looking to buy or sell, it was a networking event, I wanna put them in my system, I wanna stay in touch with them, and they're gonna be another, right? Um, so everybody falls under one of, these, one of these types. Then we have our categories, you're either a lead, a client, a past client, pending, meaning under contract, or another, right? So we keep it very simplistic with that. So you can always know what that is, and once we know what these are, and these team up, also with the lead source, that then knows to queue off and fire off what our, what our follow-up campaign is, which I'll show you here in a minute. So this is showing when they last registered. Over here is the communication, right? So this person's received one email, zero phone calls, one text message. So let's just say this person's been in my database, though, for eight months. And maybe after eight months, they've got 47 emails, um, eight phone calls and you know 32 text messages. This will always show up and you can email them right from here too. Like I can just click here and email them or click here and text them. I don't have to go into their um, actual uh, 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 you know lead profile. This will show that their last time that they were touched. So this email, which is an autoresponder email, went out 38 minutes ago along with a text message and when they last visited the website, right? Um, so you can always see when they last visited the website. And again, you can adjust these, add different columns, whatever you want um, inside here and really customize these to whatever you want to do. Then when we go into the actual lead screen here, um, so I've got my leads name, I've got my leads email, cell number. Now um, inside here, this is showing that this person came from a Facebook lead ad. Now, what this isn't showing yet is um, because this person's a brand new lead, they haven't started searching on the website. Once they start searching on the website, because we have our IDX built in, we can see exactly what they're searching, right? So we'll eventually get to know, hey, what's the average price that they're looking at? What's the average bedroom count? What's the average bathroom count? What location? You know, all of that. So this person, though, it's showing the lead source here. So you can see here, this person got our autoresponder text and our autoresponder email. Um, and uh, this is a note that shows what lead ad they came in from, right? So this person came in. So when I'm, this is important to have these this new lead added note. So I know what ad they came in from, so I can set the customized search. So then all I have to do, because you can see here these drips automatically started. Um, so the second that this pe person came in, because we know it's a lead ad, they got placed on our. Um, um, our buyer lead drip email and text campaign that goes out uh, for a thousand days. And then our call tasking uh, uh, template that's tasking us to go out there and call them. And eventually, originally, or initially, these are set for no time frame established, which I'll show you all this stuff here in a moment in the drips. Um, but this means, hey, we don't know when this person is looking to buy or sell. Right, so there's no time frame established, which is a very aggressive call campaign, an aggressive meaning frequency, not aggressive with, with the person. That's up to you on how I, I don't like to, I have a kind of a no pressure, you know, no obligation. Uh, we have a concierge closed style where we just lead from a place of contribution. We never pressure anybody. But once I identify their time frame, like this is gonna task me to call them within five minutes and then call them every other day for the first 14 days, so seven times in the first 14 days, then every 21 days, for 365 days, right? So yeah, it's aggressive with the frequency, but what we found, like our average person within within uh, you know six calls, we usually have them on the phone, we've identified their time frame. so then we cancel this plan, and then we add the time frame established plan, right? So let's just say we found out that this person is looking to buy in six to 12 months, we add that, and now that's gonna auto-task my calendar to follow up with them every 45 days, right? Um, so then from here, 
Um, I'm going to do my initial call, which this shows, hey, this initial call has been done. Um, usually our initial calls are, are done within five minutes, but I'm recording this on a Sunday and, and I'm a little bit more lax with my ISAs on Sundays. Um, they need some time to recuperate and rest. Um, but anyway, um, I can come in here, just click this edit button, and this tells me exactly, hey, you got to call this person within five minutes. That's the goal. Um, if there's no answer, leave a voicemail and send a video text message. And this tells them exactly what to say, right? So um, these are my personal scripts that I use in my business that I give you guys. You, you can, of course, customize them. You can add your own. You don't have to utilize mine. I'm not saying I'm the end all be all. Um, but if you need a starting point, if you need something that's proven, right? These are proven. It's helped me and my team go out there and then become one of the top teams on the planet. Um, all of these are in here. So you say this, if they don't answer, um, leave a voicemail followed, uh, you know, here's the voicemail that you're going to leave, you know, followed by, we do a lot of video texts from our, our, just our cell phones, um, inside here, right? So bam, that's done, you know, right? I can update the call, complete the call. Um, then from there, all I got to do is set this person up on a custom automated home search, right? So I can do that right from here. So I would just come in here, name it. I'm not going to do this because I don't want to screw up my ISA, you know, right? But I would name this, you know, let's just say a test residential. I want these going out daily. Um, let's just say this happened to be um, um, in Surprise, Arizona. Let's just say they were looking for three bed, two plus bath, um, under $275,000. And we're looking for, let's just say it happened to be um, a home with a swimming pool, right? Then I can come in here, select that. Um, so then what this will do is it's going to automatically, it's going to send them everything that's on the market right now, but then it's going to start sending them, um, everything, every single day, anything new that comes up, it's automatically going to start sending this. So you don't have to go into your MLS and set these up, which is very time consuming, right? So you can set these up in a matter of seconds. Um, I'm going to close out on this and cancel this because I don't want to screw up um, my inside sales agent here. Um, but that's literally it. And again, right from here, you can add a note into the system. You can log your call into the system. Um, you can add a new task um, at any point. Let's just say you have a conversation with them. They're on their way to on vacation. They ask you to call them up in 10 days. Bam, create my task. Uh, that automatically remind me. I can text them right from the system. I can email them right here from the system. So I don't have to go back into another screen to do all of these things. Now, one feature that I really love about this um, is, of course, you got your buyer's agent, your seller agent. You can also add your lender. So once I add a lender, your lender actually gets access. We create a perfect storm um, um, account for your lender, and it's free to do this for your lender partners because lenders have such an important role inside of our business and we follow up. So we add our lender right here. Let's just say we're going to add. I'm not going to do it because I don't want to mess them up, but I would add, let's just say Brian here. Brian's going to get an alert that they have a lead. Now the lender is very limited on what they can do. They can view all of this stuff and see everything that's going on, but all they can do is add a note and add a task to themselves. They can't do anything else and all they can view are leads that you've shared with them. That's it, they can't see anything else. So we protect your data, of course, with all of that. Um, but I love the note feature here, right? So like one thing I'm really strict with my lenders is I'm like, look, don't call me or email me updates. Always add a note, you know, right? So test, you know, note, and then they just share that note with whoever they want to share it with. So like in my department, well, I've got ISAs, I've got my agents, and we've got our lenders, right? We can always share. This is just how we communicate. And every time a note shared, it gets burnt here into the system. Also, you're going to get an email alert every time you have a task that's due. You're going to get an email alert instantaneously. Anybody you share that note with gets that alert. And that's how we communicate and they all stay on the same page within our system. So very, very important. If you have multiple agents working a file or if you want to, you know, you have your admin on there and you want your admin to always keep up to date, you know, you just share those notes. And again, you can add uh, your admin on here for free, your lenders on here for free, um, all of that fun stuff. Okay. So then now let's come in here and your drip plans, right? So we have all these different drip plans, capabilities that you can go out there and create. Now, when you come in here, when you first get your website, it's going to be blank. It's going to be, you know, there's not going to be anything in here. You're going to come right in here to your global drips. You click on this and here's all the different drips. And we've got training on what these mean, what they look like, you know, right? You're going to uh, grab the drips that apply to you. 
Um, and these are all the drips that I utilize in my business. And they're not just lead generation, uh, um, or I'm sorry, lead follow-up drips to convert those leads into clients. We have a lot of those. We have separate email and text drips that go out that are automatically emailing and texting your client, um, as well as your call tasking drips that task you to call and follow up. I don't want to have to remember this stuff. I just want to show up every single day. My system tells me exactly what to do, what to say, and when to do it every single day. And once your drips are added correctly, this does this. So you can add your drip and you add them per lead source. Um, so, so um, you know, we know what to do there with that. Um, but also, like, okay, maybe you have a buyer consultation and they no-show you, right? Well, here's a 30-day follow-up plan, series of six phone calls and six emails that go out. Maybe you conduct a buyer appointment, but they didn't sign a buyer employment agreement with you, right? So same thing. This is a 30-day follow-up plan. Um, I have a lender reach-out plan. So if I have a buyer that's like, hey, you know, I want to speak with your lender. I fire this off. It automatically tasks my lender to call them every single day for three full days um, until they get a hold of them, get them on the app. After my lender's uh, that quiz tasks my lender, now it's going to task me to follow up with them every 72 hours until I get them in touch with my lender. Um, we've got past client uh, drip call plans, which is my past client follow-up plan that automatically tasks you seven days after close, 30 days after close, um, and then uh, every 90 days to call your past client. I give, uh, you know, what to do and what to stay in there for 20 straight years, you know, right? So all these different trips are in here. And when you look at these different trips, let's just say we're looking at like this online buyer lead email and text trip. Um, if we were to go into this, now you just copy the ones that you want. But let's say we go into mine and I've got different drips on mine just because I have ISAs and, and, you know, agents and different things there. Um, but let's just say like this third party buyer online drip. So this would be third party, meaning companies like Zillow, Truly, Realtor.com. You know, if you have those, that's right. Apply this. And when you come into here, you're going to see a few different things, right? So um, these, anytime you see these three bars, this is a task drip where it's tasking you, right? So I've got this set up where instantaneously I get tasked with this and it says, hey, answer the buyer leads question, um, confirm autoresponders emails were sent out, confirm the lead is set up on a third party online buyer email uh, text strip, um, set up on property alerts. These automatically happen. Right, um, with some recommendations and and you know some sample emails. So again, we're just trying to eliminate the guesswork for you. And here's everything that I've you know I've custom wrote these, or custom uh, I've written these personally. Um, and then uh, when you see this little pop up window here, these are text messages that go out. Right, so like hey, like after one day of them being in the system. Now at this point, they've got my autoresponder email, my autoresponder text, I've answered their inquiry and I've called them on the phone. Um, one day after that, hey, I wanna check see if you have any questions um, in regards to property inquiry email I sent yesterday, right? Um, then uh, two days after that, this email gets sent out. Then one hour after that email gets sent out, this text message gets sent out. Most of these uh, drip email and drip text campaigns that you're gonna see that I've custom written are gonna go out for a thousand days. And you can always edit these plans, just come up here to edit plan. Um, you can, um, you know, pick the lead source that you wanted to go to, um, you know, and again, you can, there's just so many things that you can do here when you're updating the, the plans. I mean, if you want to change the text, all of, all of that stuff, um, like as an example, I have a team leader is one of my coaching clients that's up in Calgary, Canada, and he wanted to add some more specific verbiage that was specific to his, his marketplace in Calgary. So he just took these and then edited them, saved them, and then went over here and just slid this private to public on the team. And now anybody on his team can just go into the team plans on his CRM and select those drips that are done. They don't have to go out there and uh, um, edit those or change those. Um, one thing that we recently added that we're really excited about is also video email. And you can do this on your drips. Um, you can do this in mass video emails, you know, right? Um, but really right here, you just uh, uh, hit this insert video and you can embed and insert a video here. Um, uh, and you, so you can have drip via email going out. You can have mass email videos going out. You can send, send single email videos out. All of that uh, right here inside the system. So those are the drips. Um, these tasks here, these are if you had, you know, custom task queues like, you know, for example, we have our 17 step um, contract to close process and you can add uh, different task stuff that's taking place in here that you want to have in your business. Um, transaction management feature. So if you want to use our transaction management feature, just to give you an idea of what this looks like, I've got some test transactions in here that I'll show you. So let's just say you have a, a purchase transaction and you want to track that in here. You can put everything in here, all the property information, details, um, contingency dates, you know, right, to make sure you're staying on these dates, set tasks for yourself, enter all your commission information. This also helps with tracking purposes, um, all of your checklists. So if you have specific checklists that you follow, 
all of your files so you can upload all the contracts. It gets burned in here. They're named in here. They get time stamped in here. There's no limit to the amount of data that you can put in here. So most real estate agents have to save your files for five plus years, whatever it looks like for your, 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 um, wherever you're at. So this just allows you to store all of those documentations. Um, you can add members to it. So let's just say you, you have a lender that you want to add to this. You've got your assistant that you want to add to this. You know, you've got your notes. Um, you can add to this all inside your transaction uh, management features. So, um, you know, of course, we've got our, our transaction management uh, for purchase contracts. Also, you know, as you're inputting listings, um, you can add all of your listings in there, all of that. This marketing feature here, this is one of my favorite features in the system. Um, this is your how you go out there and generate leads, right? So let's just say I'm going to go into Facebook and I'm gonna go post into free groups. And again, we have a lot of training on this for paid uh, Facebook advertising um, to um, you know free group ads, how to go out there and generate leads. Because we know if you're not generating leads and converting leads, you know, right, not having success with the website, you're not gonna stay with the client. So we make sure to have an insane amount of training on this. You know, but let's just say I've got a, a site like this. Hey, wow, like check it, here's a, the picture of this. Wow, check out these amazing homes currently for sale and surprise under 265. You know, right, they click right here. This is taking them to my website. They're like, oh, this property looks interesting, you know, and then bam, I'm generating that as a lead. Well, how I generate these um, links is here inside the link builder. And let's just say you do have a team. Um, your Each of your agents have their own CRM. When they build out their own links inside the link builder here, they're able, the system knows that that lead then belongs to them. So automatically ensures that it goes into their CRM, tracks all of that. So here's how we're building out our landing pages, you know, which would be a landing page like this. Um, so here's how I build the all the landing pages out. Um, inside here, I can pick and choose if I want lead routing. Um, if you're doing Facebook lead ads, you pick uh, as you're building this out. Well, let me just build one out as an example for you. So let's just say we're going to do residential. Um, we're going to do this one in the city of Surprise, Arizona, which is the city I live in. Um, let's just say we're not going to do any minimum beds, baths. Um, let's just say we're going to do a max price of two sixty-five. dollars um, We are going to pick no for lead routing, unless you want these to be routed to your team. But if I'm generating these for myself, I don't want lead routing on. Add tracking. Yes, I want ad tracking to happen. Let's just say this is going to be a paid ad. And I can put my, my note in here, you know, pool homes for sale and surprise under 265K. This allows me to know what is, um, you know, what, what ads are getting what leads, conversion percentage ratios, all of that. So I put that here, lead source, you know, right? Maybe it's Facebook, uh, uh, Facebook here for this lead source. Um, if I'm doing Facebook lead ads, Right, so I'm gonna click yes for this because they, they register with Facebook, but then when they land on the site, there's gonna be a Facebook button that they just have to click that confirms it and it verifies their information. And, and um, so I'm gonna click this as yes. Then I'm just gonna generate the link. And then from here, right, I can just uh, copy and paste this link and then see what this link looks like that we're gonna land on. So this is where my clients are gonna land. Again, uh, our leads are gonna land they're registering on Facebook with this style of ad. You don't have to. You can have them land on your website, do a conversion ad, which again, we show you all this stuff. I'm trying not to go too deep. If you don't know a lot about Facebook, I don't want to confuse you here. Um, but you can do conversion ads, which they, means they go to your website. Then we get them to log in. Or you can do Facebook lead ads where Facebook logs them in. So all they have to do here is boom, click and log in with Facebook, which then uh, verifies their information. And this is the page that they're going to land on. So here's where I go to Facebook and then um, use that link to build that ad. Ad, run that ad. Now, what's cool about this is then you can go into ad tracking. And these are just a bunch of um, different, you know, test ads, different things that we're doing here. But you can see what all your conversion rates are, what ads are converting at the best, um, you know, what all that looks like um, here uh, with, uh, with these. Um, so it allows you to, again, know exactly what you're converting at with what ad is converting the best. Um, and you're able to track, and then you can even click into those if you choose to. Um, now, this particular one doesn't, but you can even upload a photo of that ad so you can see, hey, man, what, what's the best uh, verbiage and the best photos and all of that for my ads and what's my best conversion ratios? Obviously, this isn't converting well at 3%. You know, our average is more like 10%. 
Um, we have some clients, I was talking to a client the other day that's at 23%, which is almost unheard of, right? So um, this this tool here uh, is, is, I've never seen a website that has this in depth of a tool. Like if you're doing free Facebook groups, you can see what groups are getting the results, what style of ads getting the results. Um, it just plays really well because Facebook through the pixel, which we make that simplistic on you as well, that gives us so much data what we know, hey, is it men or is it women? What devices, what age group? Um, but what that doesn't tell you is exactly what ad got what results, you know, right? So um, based on the pixel data that we get plus this, you know, it just makes it where it is absolutely game over. Um, here's a, a template section where you can have all your templated emails set up. You can do your video template emails inside here as you're setting up your email, again, reporting, you come in here and, and report all your email reporting, your mass emails, um, all of that. You can see what is getting you those results in there. Um, again, your tasks here. I think I misspoke here with these tasks. I apologize. This task is showing all your daily tasks that you have, and you can track your tasks from here. So multiple different places to go there and task all your um, um, uh, uh, or, or follow up with your, your tasks there. Um, scripts, if you have specific scripts that you want to utilize inside your team or inside your organization, you can upload all of your scripts inside here. Again, all the website settings and uh, that help section, um, which is, uh, uh, again, just insane amounts of video and training on this. We try to make this very user friendly for you, even frequently asked questions, you know, about the CRM, whatever it may be. Um, but like I said, we're, we're, last thing I want you to do is trying to figure hours, trying to figure this stuff out. So I've got like the, you know, the five minute rule. Can't figure this out and find what you need in five minutes. Do a support ticket. And uh, our, our support team is um, out of this world. Just absolutely, absolutely amazing. So um, that and a gist, I know we've, uh, uh, this is a longer demo, but I wanted to show you all of the main systems um, uh, with all of this. And again, you guys, um, you know, I don't, would never uh, expect me to go through this demo and understand how to do all of this stuff, right? These are the main features, how we utilize this system, um, how we go out there and lead generate the most amount of leads that we possibly can, have the most successful lead generation, also lead follow up, and that becomes huge. And that's why we've spent so much time dialing in our landing pages, our conversion ratios, building out these link builders, also making sure that you have all the, the you know, the, the best we can possibly supply for you. Um, um, follow-up scripts, follow-up campaigns, follow-up emails, text messages, um, with all those different tools. Like I said, video email, mass video email built into the system, just like a bomb bomb would have. That's no additional fee for you. Um, all of that is in this site to, again, make you the most successful you possibly can be with your lead generation and lead conversion. So again, if you have any additional questions, um, specific questions, if, if you need to go have us go more in depth on a specific topic, just type that in into uh, the message box below wherever you're watching this or again you can always message sales at perfectstormnow.com and again you'll never be pressured there's even though it's sales at perfectstormnow.com we don't do any selling right our job is to educate you answer any questions that you have on the site how it works functionality see if it's the the right system for you and if it is that's great if it's not that is okay too i just want you to understand always feel comfortable to be able to reach out and just know that you're never going to be sold you're never going to be high pressured we don't we don't do that we don't tolerate that inside of our organization so i don't want you to ever stress about that i know that this is a big decision so thank you again for watching this and if you have any questions let us know have an amazing day